Hello YouTube and welcome to the first part of Sniper Elite 4. So I recently um, finished Sniper Elite 3 and we're moving on to Sniper Elite 4 Italia um, uh, before we play Sniper Elite 5 France. So Sniper Elite 5 is going to come out in two weeks so I wanted to do Sniper Elite 3 and 4 and for people wondering what about V2? V2 I'll do after France because all the other ones are pro uh, prequels to, um, to V2. But anyways um Sniper Elite 3 took place in North Africa, the North African campaign in 1942. Sniper Elite 4 takes place in Italy in 1943. So 1943, probably the most important year of the war because it's where everything really started to change at that point. The Axis lost um, North Africa. The, um, they also lost uh, in Stalingrad. They started getting pushed back on the Eastern Front. So 1943 is really the, the year where everything changed um, in the war. The tides started being turned. So, hope that you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys like my cosplay. So, when I played Sniper Elite 3, I had the North African Sniper cosplay. On this one, I have the um, Carl's Italian um, uh, Sniper uh, cosplay. And I tried to make Carl's outfit as accurate as possible. This, is, this almost matches Carl's outfit perfectly to what he wears. Um, Bandolier, kind of similar, but this is, you know, almost the exact same scarf that he wears, and the, almost the exact same jacket. The jacket that I have is actually a real World War II jacket. It's, um, uh, it's an M43. I think this might be a... Uh, uh, no, I think this is actually the real thing. But it's, um... Yeah, it's an M43 jacket, um, which appears to be the one that Carl wears. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you guys do enjoy this series, please do drop a like on it, because it does help the series out a lot. And I got also a really good cosplay that I'm going to be wearing when, um, Sniper Elite 5 France comes out. So anyways, let's do this here. New campaign. And we're going to do it on Authentic. The last time when we played Sniper Elite 3, we played on Sniper Elite difficulty. This one, we're gonna play on Authentic. And, um, the reason I didn't do Sniper Elite 3 on Authentic is because the AI is kinda broken, and so it's really unfair. Um, uh, but in this one, um, Authentic is l way more doable. And so on Authentic, there's no zoom in on the scopes. There's no zoom in on the scopes, there's no aim assist, there's no radar, even. So you gotta know where to do everything, but I know how to do everything. So let's do this. I'm gonna choose what gun are we gonna use, um... We'll use the car 98. Okay. And, uh, we'll go on with the grease gun. And we'll bring a well rod with us, too. Okay. Um. Let me change the suppressed rifle ammo, because in Sniper Elite 4, there's suppressed rifle ammo. Oh, and the car 98 wasn't cho chosen. Okay. Here we go, let's do this. So you guys see, I almost matched his outfit there perfectly. A world at war. A world in turmoil. We closed the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. But what next? Churchill urged an allied invasion of Italy. Called the Mediterranean the soft underbelly of the crocodile. The Americans took some convincing. But Winston won them over. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Allied Commander-in-Chief, is masterminding the entire... He later became U.S. President. Strategy. As for me, I'm headed for San Salini, a secluded island to Italy's southwest. The soundtrack is really good in this one. Sniper Elite 4 is much better than Sniper Elite 3, so if you like Sniper Elite 3, you're really gonna like this one because it improves a lot of the things that Sniper Elite um, been losing ships 3 in the did. Area. British intelligence thinks the Luftwaffe's presence on Sansalini might explain why. The Royal Navy dispatched a captured Italian freighter, the Orchidia, to investigate. She was equipped with the very latest radio interception equipment. The intelligence she gathered confirmed our worst fears. The Nazis have a new wonder weapon. Survivors from the destroyed ships have talked about a new kind of missile. 
Radio control from the plane that launched them. These rockets can track our ships with lethal accuracy. That's a real life um a missile, by the way. I think that's called the V1. The Arcadia's job was to monitor Luftwaffe radio transmissions and find out what the Germans are up to. Even if that meant making the ultimate sacrifice. Now we need to know what the Nazis are planning, and how we can stop them. A member of the Luftwaffe's top brass is on the island. General Tobias Schmidt. It's no secret Hitler thinks highly of him. Schmidt would never let himself be taken alive. And he'd never betray his beloved Fuhrer. But he might just be carrying some information we can use. My mission? Kill Schmidt. Kill all high-ranking officers. And get the hell out. So in um, Sniper Elite 3, the um, uh, the Germans were planning on making the Rat Super Tank. In this one, it's about the um, uh, the V1 rockets. I think that's what they're called, V1 rockets. Um, so here we are, we are in Italy now, and um, I tried to match Carl's outfit as best as I could, as you guys see here. I even got the scarf here. Um, this is an actual, this is a sniper scarf also. Schmidt isn't the only target. Need to take out the officers too. So we got no radar and everything, but um, I know how to do everything. The only thing uh, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit annoying on Authentic is just the detection, but um, We'll get through it. So in the last game, the uh, Germans were trying to develop the Rat Super Tank. In this one, they're trying to develop an advanced rocket. Um, got an enemy right there, but I'm going to get a good kill here. But um, uh, you can zero in the distance, so the reason that, that was no bullet drop is because I zeroed it in at 100 meters. And you get a pretty good estimate of the distance on this um, game once you play it a bunch. So I'm, I'm really good at this game. I'm much better at Sniper Elite 4 than I am at 3. Played this game a lot. On authentic, you want to search pretty much most bodies. No more okay. to find here. You can crouch run in this game, which I really like. Massive improvement, Sniper Elite Three. That tower looks like a good vantage point. gonna be good. Oh! I just messed them up. I killed four soldiers with that explosion. Okay. get that shot in a little bit here drop some of these guys here clear a path and also you guys are probably wondering why am I not zooming in more because this is the max that you can zoom in 
Um, uh, this is how far the snipers could often see back then. You know, not a, a lot of re World War II games are really unrealistic with the snipers that um, they uh, they can zoom in. Scopes couldn't zoom in that much back then. Got it. Look at this shot, 200 meters. <laughs> Another one down. Okay, these guys are suspicious, but we're gonna start popping these guys. I think your dentist might need some work. Next one got two. Look at this shot. Got them all there. Okay, how far are you? Okay. Okay. 127 meters. Okay, I moved my camera a little bit because I couldn't see it. Okay. Okay, let's change position because eventually they're going to figure out that I'm up here. The enemies will eventually zo zone in on your position. You gotta be patient as a sniper, you can't rush in too much. Um, it's like I said before, you know, the, a lot of the Call of Duty kids that like think that they're gods at sniping, you know, they play a game like this, they want to be able to handle it, I guarantee it. Those planes, if you shoot when the planes are flying up, they won't hear it. Put on some suppressed rounds here. Suppressed rounds, when you fire an authentic difficulty, they'll still kind of hear it, but they won't know exactly where you are. Suppressed rounds also have a bit more bullet drop. Through the eye. Okay. Watch your surroundings very carefully. Hide in these bushes, they won't see you. Sie hat nicht zurückgeschrieben. And also, reading, uh, you can hear a little bit of intel about them. Vincenz uh, Krusenberg keeps getting into brawls. Victor Bayer, uh, certain the Germans will win. Okay, 
going to get a little bit closer here. I think somebody found a body back there. Yeah, well, Rod, we might not, um... So even the first mission is a bit hard, um... I see one again. I still got 15 of these suppressed rounds left. Also, a little bit of the background um, and history here. Um, uh, Germany invaded Italy in 1943, uh, and what happened was that uh, King Emmanuel was the... Um, Italy had a monarch, um, but they also had a dictator. So Mussolini was a dictator, but Emmanuel was the monarch. And um, what happened was um, when Italy started doing really bad in the North African campaign, King Emmanuel uh, uh, changed sides to the Allies and wanted to make a deal with the Allies. And, um, uh, and they took his deal. Um, to switch sides, but he had to he had to um, come on the Allied side right away, and um, he had Mussolini arrested. And what happened was Germany invaded Italy and pretty much took took it all over. And um, Germany actually sent paratroopers in, and they had actually freed Mussolini from prison. Okay, let's see what do we got here. Binoculars always have way more vision than, um, uh... Once got trapped in a revolving door? Okay, um, binoculars have way more vision than, um, uh, than scopes do on rifles. Other members of the squad complains that he smells. Okay. first German officer that we can assassinate is going to be right here. There, I see him. Give him a little present here. Here, have this. Okay, that's the first officer dead. Wow, look at what, what we did down there. Huh. Caused a little bit of chaos, right? Okay. Oh, I got to throw a grenade down there too. There we go, okay, that... Oh no, that's gonna bounce. Okay, whatever. So our objectives are kill General Schmidt, uh, kill Nazi officers, destroy cameras, and clear the checkpoint. Okay. The checkpoint isn't too far from us here. See, they react to sounds. They're re running to the grenade. Um, 
Oh, great. Okay, I guess we're going in with regular rounds here now. Survive that first shot. Okay. And then there's another one up there. Going in with the grease gun, um... idea where he went. Okay. And uh, here's a little tip. You can actually use the binoculars on bodies and it will tell you what, uh, what loot they have. So you don't have to waste your time on everything. Bandage. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take that. Need that. We're not being detected anymore, but... Put in the suppressed round just in case. Here. checkpoint that you can clear out it's oh okay it's right in there okay that's where the checkpoint is And you don't have to kill everyone. Like, when people play these games, they feel like they have to kill everyone, but killing everyone sometimes makes it harder. Just kill the people that are in my way. Because then you, kill, you keep killing people, you draw more attention to yourself. As a sniper, you know, you shoot and you move. You know, you're not a one-man army. This is not Call of Duty. Let's clear the checkpoint then. See hostiles already. Maybe I should deal with that checkpoint. This is a silenced um, uh, pistol, a suppressed pistol. I shouldn't say silenced, suppressed. Um, bolt action pistol. 
Suppressor is built into the barrel. That guy there, he could be a problem. I'll probably go up here. That's how I'll probably I'll probably go up there after I'm done clearing this checkpoint out. <laughs> Truck, gotta be careful for explosives. Throw a grenade that could kill me easily. Checkpoint cleared. Some supplies. TNT. SMG, I'm looking for a bandage. Okay, well, um, we're gonna get out of here because that gunfire that we fired from the grease gun is gonna attract attention. So what do we got? Checkpoint cleared. That's an optional objective. Okay. One camera destroyed. One officer dead. Three officers remaining. And to kill General Schmidt. Look up. Get up here. Perfect. Thinks he killed two people with one bullet. Very proud. Terrible person. Never been outside his native, uh, Quedlinburg. Okay. Okay, I don't see any hostiles here. Climb up. Gonna break this generator. That guy over there can be a problem. Yeah, you gotta have a lot. You gotta have a lot of patience when you play this game. Like, cause if, if I was running and gunning, I'd be dead ten times over right now. during the generator so they're not going to hear that.
the other officer is here. my camera up a tiny bit. Yeah, this will be better. Okay. 182 meters. Oh, the bush got in the way. Yeah, the bush got in the way. Okay, that's... Some of them up here still. Okay, yeah. Big ammo dump there. Huh? Oh, he fired a shot, but okay, I matched mine. so much. Okay, I'll get him now. Oh, I got him, but there was no... Okay, there was no uh, kill cam. Oh, God. Yeah. play on uh, authentic difficulty, you're paranoid that they're gonna constantly come up behind you. What, that didn't get him? Didn't get him, seriously. Okay, well, this better get him now. Okay, now I got him infantry kill. Okay, the officer is down there. Um, I'm just hoping that with my gunfire that it actually attracts him and the sound of the gunfire and that he, um, uh, pop him like that. I'm seeing some movement over there. Oh, I love this song. OST is really good in this game. Oh, yeah, they're... No. Okay. Thirty two bullets left still. That might seem like a lot of ammo, but it's not. at the last moment. Okay, well, he's dead now. 
Yeah, so if you stay in one position for too long, you guys see what's happening. They, they keep swarming you. Don't do this what I do on staying in one position, but I just wanted to pick off as many of these guys as I can because I'm in a really good spot. But uh, they will move up on you really quick, and they will, they will figure out where the shots are coming from. guy still alive? Okay, he's dead now. That guy is taking shots at me. Oh. What is he doing? He's like running back and forth to the side here constantly. Okay, that takes care of that. I was really hoping to draw the officer out of my gunfire here. Where is he? Okay, come on. Come on, show up already. Might have to go down there my and get rid of him myself in a little bit. Um, yeah, we might have to do that. Get out of this area. We've been picking off people too long here. They're gonna come up here uh, if I don't move. That wooden crap is in the way. Okay, this looks like a good position to take cover in. I hit him.
little hard to see him because of that helmet in the grass. Got him. Get the grease gun out here. Going in for some close quarters action now. Camera. I think we're causing a little bit of chaos here. The other officer is right around here somewhere. Um, he moved when all the gunfire happened, but he's still close by. Oh, I just shoot his grenade. I f think I did. Oh God, no. Yep, there he is, and I'm I'm about to die. Yeah, so see we see how many medics and uh, and bandages I went through just after a few shots. Time to change positions. shooting me through the floorboards because you can shoot um, uh, through a lot of surfaces in this. Oh, there he is. What are you doing? Okay. There we go. That's the second officer dead. Officer in charge, Senior Lieutenant Oscar Pletcher, Farm and Harbor Area, and under report. Officer instructions, patrols should be distributed as follows. We met on the far side of the farm by the vehicle sheds, patrols in the beach by the harbor, and troops in the actual harbor area. Officer comments, the boat collecting the film footage will arrive in due course. Until that point, patrols in the harbor area will need to be observant and attentive to any problems, not that we envision any. So this is like notes that you can find in the game. Shot from where? Yeah, there's still so many of these guys left. Ammunition. Yeah, nothing useful on them right now. I 
Maybe I'll get the rifle ammunition. I do have 19 bullets left, but... Okay. Let's eliminate the third officer now. And so, yeah, th this game, the missions are pretty long in this game. Of... Okay. about 100 meters. Yeah. Hundred and three meters, so yeah, I was close in my estimation. Ah, oh, damn, I thought that was gonna be a kill shot there. Now this is a kill shot. Officer, I think, is that him? Oh wait, is it? No, it's just a soldier. But the officer is down there. Exactly what I was scared of them coming up behind me. What the? Oh. That should have gotten him before, but this one has now. Okay. Reload, reload. He survived that shot? You've got to be kidding me. You guys seeing this right now? This guy this guy should not have survived those shots. Okay. That was ridiculous. We have to secure this area up here because... guys are going to come up here. Oh no. Uh, 19th March, 1943. Funny thing, but this is the second last letter I've written. I was convinced I was going to die in Tunisia. Thought I'd better write a new one. Perhaps it will keep me safe, eh? Tunisia, that's, um, in the North African campaign. If, uh, Tunisia is also a country today. If anything, uh, does happen to me, you might give me, uh, my, uh, might give my watch to Kurt. Not sure it'll make him any more punctual. Don't grieve for me. If the Fuhrer tells me to sacrifice my life, then I must do so willingly. Your son, Gur. So, see, these are last letters that, like, soldiers wrote back then. So, like, they would, uh, they would write these letters so that if they died, they would send them out to their family members. But, um... What I will say is that, like, that letter just shows complete brainwashing. It's just, it's a complete, you know, it's just complete brainwashing, just fanatical to the regime. That he's willing to give his life for Hitler. It's just complete, that guy was complete brainwashed. See if I can get rid of that officer. Where are you, officer? Where are you? I know you're down here somewhere. Schmidt is gonna be at the um, villa.
Is that him? Officer kill. Yup, that's him. Okay. I just need to take out, um, just one more, uh, Nazi officer. Okay. I know where the last one is. It was in that position that I was trying to get him out of earlier, but it was just... It was just too difficult to, um, uh, get him to run out. Machine guns and sniper elite three, if you notice, did a little bit more damage. Oh, man, I've killed so many of these guys already. A med kit, okay, perfect. That's what I needed. Last officer is gonna be back here. Right near this barn. I killed some of his guards earlier, so it's just, um, should be him and it's a few stragglers left. There he is. See, that's, that's, that was the officer that I was looking for. There, by the time he saw me, he's dead. That's it. All targets are dead. Okay, all officers done. Oh, testicles shot off. Guy here, med kit, perfect. Okay, I'm finding more med kits, perfect. This is good. Okay. Okay, time to eliminate General Schmidt and get rid of the cameras. Duty roster, location, checkpoint, surrounding area, officer in charge, senior lieutenant Hans um, uh, Egerter. Absence is none. Officer instructions. Troops needed to guard the checkpoint and patrol the nearby beach. We also need patrols on the outskirts of the town close to the checkpoint. Officer comments. Must remain vigilant. Not that we expect any problems. Okay, get to cover quickly here. This area right here, I think, is going to be a good area to, to kill a lot of guys from because they're going to have to, they're going to have to cross the bridge if they want to get me here. Good choke point to hold. Got to clear a path to the villa now. I 
gonna get him in the headshot, but whatever. What? He's still alive? Okay, well, not anymore. I don't know how he survived that many shots. That was ridiculous. Peek out, come on, peek out. Got you. You're next. I just really hope I don't have any of them come up behind me here. Oh, spoke too soon, see? No. Damn, where are these guys coming from? Yeah, they're in some pretty good cover. That won't entirely help them, though. I can't cross that bridge just yet. If I do, it's I'm gonna die. Explosion kill him? Okay, perfect. Okay, I think we're starting to clear a path now. See what happens when I move for a second, they took advantage and they crossed the bridge, so AI can be a bit smart in this game. Don't tell me he, sur he survived that shot, okay. Ah. 
I really need a bandage right now. I'm hurt. Oh, come on. Oh, med kit, please. Can't find I, anything. I needed that so badly right now. Okay. Okay. Coming for you, General Schmidt. Okay. Hopefully we can find some more med kits on these guys. Oh, bandage, perfect, that's great, okay. on my suppressed rounds here. Yeah, they're they're in the estate and General Schmidt is somewhere here too. Oh no. There's General Schmidt, okay. Here, have that. Damn, it's just... They've got that, that backyard garden maze area, like, completely locked down. One of Smith's bodyguards dead. Yeah, but it, I know in Sniper Elite 5, they're gonna fix this problem, because the problem is that the enemies take a ridiculous amount of damage, and it's like, if you don't shoot them in the head or, like, a vital spot, they take a ridiculous amount of damage, and in, um, in Sniper Elite 5, how it's gonna work is that if you hit the enemies in a non-vital spot, they'll sometimes limp, which is, you know, much better. So it's, uh... General Schmidt is somewhere here. I hear him, he's probably in the house now. Okay, that's it for General Schmidt. He's done. Dear General Schmidt, General Böhm has asked me to thank you for your recent visit 
and to express his regret he was unable to meet you in person. We understand the propaganda office has made the necessary arrangements for the filming of Kessler's missile. General Böhm very much hopes the Führer enjoys seeing the new weapon in action. The general believes the resulting film will be of use in continuing to present the achievements of the German military to the German people and wider world. Yours sincerely, Major Hans Dorfmann. Make sure that you remember the, that that name, uh, Ma Major Hans Dorfmann. It's really important. And up here you can find Schmidt's safe and a really good vantage point. And I think that when you loot him, you get his key too. Uh, yeah. What's the situation looking like outside? Looks clear for the most part. Okay. Just gotta get rid of that last camera then. SMG ammunition. Okay. No more to find here. All cameras done. Okay, all objectives complete. Found the letter in Smith's body. General Smith is dead. All Nazi officers dead. Cameras destroyed. Checkpoint clear. Gotta get off the island now. The letter talks about someone called Kessler. Name sounds familiar. that bandage out just in case I run it anymore. Okay, I have to get down there. The boat's down there. So there we go, 81 kills, um, um, 11 ghost kills, 47 headshots, 55% accuracy. Pretty good there. So I hope that you guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. A lot of you guys are like, how the hell did you do that without dying? But um, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, some of the other missions I might die on because it's really hard. That was just the first mission, but um, uh, yeah. So you gotta remember where the objectives are, you gotta remember where the people are. No radar on authentic difficulty and everything like that. But hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll have the next part for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and take care, everyone.